Uh, hello everybody, and welcome back to some Enigmatica 6. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. So, you're going to notice some things different around here. We'll get into that here in just a second. Uh, it's been a few days since I've recorded. Actually, it's been probably about a week since I recorded anything. I've been fairly busy in life. Uh, so, but I have spent some time doing a little bit of work around the place. Uh, one, uh, we are now officially... Uh, surrounded by four walls and a roof. So, that took care of our slime issue. Uh, but, and also in taking, wait, 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 wait. Oh, they just look weird. Uh, also in taking care of slime issues, uh, our slime island is, uh, gone. Uh, I just decided to get rid of it. Uh, I got the trees, I got some saplings, I got rid of it. We didn't need it. Uh, if we come in here, uh, we have did a botany pot uh, matter of fact this thing is full um, and got this thing going uh, so yeah we've got uh, yeah got that um, so but yeah we got all this set up uh, I have also out here um, I've got us our next area set up for what we're going to be doing uh, not today but we're gonna be getting into Britannia here pretty soon that's what this spot out here is for uh, this guy's got to go away uh, even though it's not blowing up these walls. It's blowing up some of the other walls. So we got to get that moved. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it just yet. Um, and then I've done some crop stuff. I didn't realize there was a marketplace in here. Uh, we'll go look at that in just a minute. Um, so I've got like all the main seeds we need to make uh, any of our foods uh, growing. And then I've got flax for string. I've got the uh, hemp, the industrial hemp seeds for stuff when we get into any, if we get into any of that. Uh, cotton for seeds, stuff like that. Uh, but everything else is for food. We've got trees growing food. I've got some bushes growing food. It's just so I can throw some stuff together. We'll get into that in just a second. Uh, I do have our pigs uh, growing out here. I just done them. Uh, they haven't been out here very long. Um, I need to do this again. Uh, so yeah, these are going. We'll get some of these guys up. So we've got some pork chops to eat along the way. Uh, you got left out there, buddy. Uh, so yeah, we've got that. Uh, if we go inside here, um, we'll look at that stuff in a minute. I've got our kitchen stuff set up here from cooking with blockheads. Uh, just so I can make food easily. Because uh, there's some good food in here that give you buffs and stuff like that. And if we keep our dietary stuff up, we get a bunch of nice effects. Um, so, yeah. And then I've got a, just an old school vanilla chicken farm here because why not? Uh, there's a bunch of chickens in there. And, yeah, that's going. Uh, and then, so, today what we're going to do is we're just going to get into this. Uh, I want to get into some of the bee stuff. Get into making apiaries. Uh, get some of our stuff rolling in. Um, for that. Uh, also, this, 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 this. We've got a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, some of this stuff I have gone through and done some processing stuff with. Uh, I've been using the emeralds out of here for uh, villager stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's going. Uh, this guy is still rolling. Uh, no, I put mending on it. Uh, and as I've been trading with villagers, uh, I've been using it to, to, to do the durability. So I've not had to make another one. Uh, this thing by itself, it'll last a couple days before I've got to even worry about it. Actually, I think it's about three days before I have to worry about it. Uh, so, yeah, we're getting a bunch of stuff that way. Not getting it very quick, but it is being very efficient. We've got plenty of stuff to do what we need to do. So, um, all right. So, to getting into uh, the bee stuff, uh, to do the apiaries and do the hives and all that stuff, we, that's what I want we need honeycomb blocks, we need honey, we need uh, beeswax, uh, we need combs, we need all the above. Uh, and, of course, if you look in here, it says the beekeepers have nest, and just like the cake is a lie, that is a lie. Uh, because these guys do not have cakes. I have mastered like five or six of these guys. Uh, and not got a single nest from them. It goes up to the Queen Bee Banner, which we've got Queen Bee Banner up there, and that's as far as it goes. So, 
we are getting a bunch of the beeswax and the honeycombs and stuff like that that we need for what we need to do. Um, and then I've got these guys over here that I was just kind of randomly tra trading stuff with to get more emeralds because we didn't have a whole lot of emeralds. And then we got, I got one that has a capturing four, four book, uh, which we turned into capturing five. Uh, and then these guys are here for just getting emerald purposes. Uh, he has looting seven, uh, which we now have on our sword. Uh, so I kept him. And then we've got our marketplace and we got that's where we got all of our seats. So that is that. So but in the process of in the process of doing some of that, we did complete a few quests that I need to take care of. Uh, one being we got a diamond chest made. Sorcerer's Delight. That give us enchanted books. Um none of those really look and uh, none of those look really that we need. Uh, so yeah, we got that one, uh, refined storage, I made external storage, uh, and we'll talk about that, uh, advanced spin, uh, that give us another quest complete here, uh, I made an external storage because I wanted to see if this guy would hook up to external storage, and it does, uh, I didn't mess with a whole lot to see if it would actually... Um, be able to pipe in and items out, but with it being able to read it, I would assume that it would probably do that. All right, so we got that. Uh, industrial foregoing. Uh, oh, I made the bigger advanced black hole tank. Uh, for this, that's oh, that's the other thing. Um, that's the simple one. What did I do with the big one? The big one may be over here. This is the big one. Uh, yeah, got that. Uh, I made this guy, and if we go in here, I have the pump from Mechanism, uh, and we went to the lava. That's what kind of how I've been processing stuff. So, but like, as I said, we we're going to start working down some of the quests of the bees. Uh, I want to get some of this stuff taken care of so we can start collecting some stuff. Uh, we can get a lot of really good stuff with bees and I don't know how hard it's going to be to kind of make our way through this. There's going to be a lot of breeding uh, and stuff like that. So that is kind of where I want to go with this. That slimy bee, this looks like it spawns in the world. I have to find it. There's a bunch of them that we've got to find. I, there's it's just a matter of going through and figuring it all out. So, uh, we've completed a couple quests. One was for the, the starting it. Uh, one was for getting just a regular bee's nest. Uh, this was for the empty bee jars and getting combs. Uh, so, uh, bee mutations. Bee breeding is simple. Yeah, we know about all that stuff. Uh, Entity-based, certain types of have the ability to mutate entities into other entities. Um, so, so it's like a blaze bee returning to the nest passes near creeper bee, can mutate it into a gas bee. Don't know if that's necessarily anything we have necessarily that. Uh, block based, uh, certain bees have the ability to mutate blocks into other blocks. Iron bee uh, passes over stone and can turn it into iron. That's good to know, but we're not necessarily worried about that either. And then this one's basically the fluid stuff. So that's taken care of. Uh, vanilla bee mechanics. Um, beautiful. It just more or less tells us how to do the vanilla bee stuff. Uh, this is the tier one bees. Tier one bees are the ones that we got that spawn naturally in the world. We've already got a bunch of those as it is um, for messing around. Uh, I think we've got some more maybe in our system. I don't know. I thought there was more. Um, yeah, there's a few more in there that we got. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, the Tier 2 Bs are bees that are obtained through breeding. And the Tier 3s are the ones that are require blocks to be bred. So, there's all of that. Um, and then we need to get into the centrifuge, which... This is all stuff that we're going to look at here in just a minute. One of the first things that we need to worry about uh, in doing all this is we're actually going to need to get some honey. Now, there's a couple ways we can get honey. We can get it through the centrifuge. 
Uh, but there is also, if we go in here to honey, we, uh, blazing honey, go honey, that's not what, oh. What does, it just gives us honey blocks. Uh, I want just the regular honey. Uh, we can actually do the fluid laser drill. Uh, this can be done anywhere, I guess, that's not in a weird biome. We should be able to do it here. So that's what I want to do. I want to get this set up and see if we can get some honey from this. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to find out. So, laser base. None of this stuff is really that hard. Most of it's stuff we've already made before. So let me get that made, and I'll be back. All right, so we got everything set up. Uh, we've got our fluid laser base. We've got our laser drills. I've got a black hole tank. We've got this thing set up with the yellow laser lens. We should be able to just place this guy in here. Uh, give it some power. And we should... That's not getting any power. Oh, we need to set this to output and this should start getting us some honey beautiful now that's not outputting um, this push there we go now we're getting honey so that's going to take a while to work. My question is, is how much power are we actually using with this to make sure we've got enough power to use it? That's still holding up well. That's still holding up well. All right, so everything looks to be holding up fairly well. And within a couple minutes, we've got our first bucket. So that is good to see. All right, so now that we've got that worried about, we can start making our way down through our different tiers of beehives and stuff like that. Uh, so that is kind of what I'm going to do next. We want to be able to get to making um, an apiary. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough stuff to do like a tier four four or tier two um because we've got to make a lot of these different beehives and once we get past the tier two we've got to start getting into the honey and for each honey block uh we're going to need at least four bottles or a bucket's worth of honey so that's what i'm going to start doing i'm going to start doing some crafting we've got a few beehives uh in here uh yeah acacia bee nest we've got a bunch of stuff uh so i'm gonna get to work all right so we're back we got up to a tier three beehive now the thing is is in order to do the tier four uh we need some kind of resourceful bee honey block, not just a regular honey block, which does kind of suck. So, we've got that. Uh, I need to get us uh, some more sooty bees. I thought we had some of these I don't want to put in here just yet. Uh, sooty bees are pretty easy to find. I want just a bunch of bees that I can just throw in here. Uh, this apiary will hold eight, or not apiary, but the beehive will hold eight. Um, so I'm going to spend a minute and fly around and get us a total of six more. Uh, that way we got this guy maxed out. We can just use him to uh, get the honey that we need. So I will be back. All right, so we're back. Uh, we've got a bunch of our combs now. Uh, so we need to do some processing of this stuff. And in order to do that, we need centrifuge. And to do that, we've got the manual centrifuge, which we'll make because we need to complete it for the quest. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. 
Uh, we want that. Uh, we've got the centrifuge that uses RF, which this will work just fine. But then we've got the big guys, which are multi-blocks. Uh, this is regular ones. Uh, and then there's elite ones. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the elite ones. I think we've got what we need in order to do it. So, I'm going to get stuff together so we can make these things. Uh, I know I'm doing a lot of building off camera, but it's a lot of stuff. A lot of this stuff I'm still processing right now um, to make sure that we've got enough stuff to do it. Um, so, that's kind of where we're at right this minute. But I'm going to get it done, and then I will be back. All right, so we are set up, ready to go. We've got a couple quests here to complete right quick. We've got one for the manual centrifuge. Uh, that give us some shears. It doesn't look like it give us anything else. Uh, we got one for the power centrifuge, which that give us... Ooh, that gave us a B. Uh, lapis B. Nice. And then finally, uh, for this guy, we get a legendary one and some Oreos. And this guy give us a nickel B jar. It's not one that we necessarily need. But now that we've got this guy ready to go, we can start throwing these in here. And we're not getting any honey. To show fluid. Okay, yeah, we are getting some. That's what we need. So, that is what we're going to watch for a minute. I'm going to run these guys through here. And we're going to see what we can get from this. It doesn't look like we're getting very much. All right, so we are back. Uh, it's been a little while since the last time I started recording. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on in uh, in, in real life right now. I uh, don't necessarily want to talk about it, uh, at least as of this moment. Some people know. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's been kind of a long process trying to get to this point. But we do have uh, uh, figured out our honey production is absolutely pointless. I don't know if we went over this or not. Uh, to make these guys, the tier four, uh, we need the actual, uh, we need honey from one of the resource bees, not just regular honey blocks. So it kind of puts the damper on that. So we had, had to get into bees to start doing that. So I had the tier, or I had uh, the, the sooty bees running in here. And I come back, most of them were gone. But then I got to doing some looking. Um, we need the honey. And if we look at this guy right here, getting the coal honey, we have a 2% chance for every single comb that we get to get some coal honey. It's not very good. So I started looking down through here, and the best one out of all of these is this right here, the ICB honey. You've got a 50% chance. So that's what I have been doing. I've got a bunch of ICBs uh, to do this. So we've got what we need now to make a Tier 4 beehive. There we go. That guy is now done. Uh, we already had a tier 3 beehive. Um, so quest complete. We can go complete that quest wherever it may be. It's down here. Uh, give us a honey glazed ham. Ooh. That we need to put over here. Um, what's the recipe on that? How hard? You, you can't make it. Nope. It doesn't look like there's a recipe for it. We'll have to do some looking for that. That's like the only one that I've seen that pretty much has most of uh, our stuff for it. Anyways, so now that we've got our tier 4 beehive, I've got to get some more honey. Uh, it is solar eclipse day. Uh, I've got to get some more honey uh, from our ICBs to do... I just do that that way. Uh, so we can do our first tier apiary. Uh, and to do that guy, we just need four more blocks. I don't know if the combs will work or not for that. Um, I don't know if I even got any combs. Uh, let's see here. Apiary. Whatever combs we got will work. So we just need to get a couple more of those honey blocks. So I will be back. Well, that was a lot quicker than it took to get all the rest of them. Uh, but we should, I've got, I gotta get my bees out of here. Um, 
How many bees are in here? Four? Yeah, let me get them. Alright, so I got my bees. I got our hive. We should now be able to make our tier one apiary. This guy right here. There we go. Boom. Got. Oh, that's nice. I love it. That quest is now complete. That's going to give us a bunch of stuff. Um, anything good? No new bees, it looks like. We got some terracotta and some honey stuff. That's it. Alright, so, now, before we can do our apiaries, we need to start doing this stuff here. Uh, so let's get into that. We need, um... I don't see the stuff. Oh, here. Uh, we need a breeder, uh, which we need uh, apiary storage, which we are going to need a few of these. We might as well go, well, we only need one breeder. Uh, I got rid of all my bee jars. All my bee jars are in here, maybe? No. Uh, yeah, we are. We got those. Uh, we'll have to make some more. Alright, so, um, breeder. This is going to make it so we can breed uh, our bees together. There's that. We're going to need another one of these apiary storage blocks. For that, um, we got the breeder, we got the storage. We're going to need one of those for each one of those. So that's going to be four of those. And what did I just run out of? Chest. Uh, we can make all the chest. That work. And we got two, three. Four. And Babish. All right. So the upgrades. We want this guy here. There's the iron upgrade. There is our gold storage upgrade. There is our diamond storage upgrade. And I'm going to bet I don't have... Oh, no, I do have the emeralds for that. And there is our emerald storage upgrade. Beautiful. Those quests are all complete. So let's go ahead and do this. That just gives us XP, some more food. We're going to have stuff laying everywhere here. Oh, I love food. Uh, I love getting food. So that means um, efficiency 5, uh, nothing good there. More nuggets. More epic Oreos. Oh, heart of the sea. More food. Squid ink pasta. Alright, um, so we've also got these here. Um, breeder upgrade. Uh, we need to make another one of those. Uh, I'll get the stuff to do that here in just a second. Then we also need the breed timer upgrade, which makes it to where we can breed. This looks like, oh no, it just takes any flowers. Uh, Alright, so let me get those done right quick. Alright, so there's both of those guys made. That'll make it so we can breed these guys a bit faster. So let's go ahead. That gives us 200 XP. Or XP. That gives us some XP. And there we go. Uh, we got one more thing to make here. Bee box. Let's go ahead and make this. Um, bee box. This can hold up to 10 bees. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works. I'm guessing it works the same as the jars. Uh, let's see. Let's um, place him down. Uh, it does. Awesome. That means I can use that to get a few more extra bees. Alright, so we've got everything we need now in order to do this. So, let's get rid of our campfire. We don't need it now. We're good. Let's get rid of this. Let's put in our apiary. We're going to need our storage block. This guy here, we'll put that in there. That gives us a 
ton of storage. We'll put our breeder block in here. That way we can access it here. And we will throw this guy, that guy in there. Beautiful. We can add more upgrades to it. Uh, so we can do more than just two, I do believe. And let's validate it. Uh, and we've got some bad blocks somewhere. Um, Y60, 61, 62, 63, 64. I'm going to guess it's not recognizing our clear glass. That kind of sucks. All right, for some reason, it was not uh, allowing us to use the uh, polished blackstone bricks. Doesn't make any sense, but now we've got these guys in here. So now we just need to throw our flowers back down. I mean, I changed out everything. Um, so for the time being, we're just going to run um, our ICBs. Uh, so I can get... Uh, a bunch of honey. Uh, I guess we can't have two of the same things in there. Well, that's alright. Uh, so that'll give us what we need to get the honey that we need. Um, we can start putting some other bees in there. Let's get our bee uh, bees out here. Let's throw in our... I don't want to do the, we can do the lapis. Uh, we can do the RGB, a sooty bee. I don't want to put any of the bees that are going to, that are mob bees. Uh, I'd rather do that. Um, I need to double check all of our flowers here. I think all of these are going to be just normal flowers. So that they are. Uh, normal flowers for those guys. Um, that's nickel, water bee. Don't really need the water bee. Um, and I think that we've got uh, a few other bees in here. We've got a forest bee. We've got a, that's a bee bee. And our Oreo bee. We definitely want to get him going. Uh, because the Oreo B gives us what? Ha there he is. Uh, the Oreo B is what's going to get us our Oreos. So that's seven of nine Bs, eight of nine Bs. Beautiful. We can speed this guy up. And look, see, we've got food going now. We can start eating, even though it's not going to give us any boost as far as what we've got in our uh, for all this uh, but we will be able to keep our sugar up but the Oreos when we eat them we can eat them anytime and we get some crazy boost from it so that'd be nice to have all right Alrighty, so we've got one more quest here to complete this is going to give us a rare loot box that give us Droppers. Really? Really? Alright, so that leaves us. We've got all of the resource bees quests done. Except for doing um, the higher tier apiaries. And that's just going to be doing a... Just waiting on a bunch of honey to get done, which we've got that going now. And then getting a few nether stars, which, like I said, I need to move that around. So, but with that, that is kind of where we're going to leave it at. That's all the time we've got for. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!